1960s, Douglas Hurd uh, arranges um, through another peer, uh, one of the Tory peers in the city, um, for the Tory party to become a secret corporate member of Bonnie's Action Committee for the United States of Europe. You can get this from the uh, the money papers in the money archives in Switzerland. And you look up the Heard files and the Heath files because, uh, you, you know, until Britain comes in, the secret, they go say, Heath is, is, uh, writes to Bonnie and says, no, should I wear a wig? Should I wear a false beard? Uh, you know, he doesn't want people to see them meeting up and collaborating. Uh, but the, the, the initial fee for the Tory party was £15,000, which was a large, very large sum of money. Uh, in the uh, the sixties, and then later on, according to Francois Duchesne, who was Monet's chief aide and uh, chief biographer, uh, according to uh, Duchesne, the the Labour and Liberal parties followed suit and became secret members of the Action Committee for the United States of Europe. So all the major Sorry. parties in Britain yeah. were signed up to this agenda without anybody knowing. Okay, so <laughs> right, so we're saying there was collusion of all the major political parties in the country with what? With with with, with what body? Well with, with with the Action Committee for the United States of Europe, which was funded by the CIA, which was funded by the American State Department, which uh, is the body uh, which is behind the, the scenes trying to create a, a, a politically united Europe. And and what's the connection do you believe today, the Americans with the EU. Is there any connection or has the EU gone rogue? Well, until Trump, the American establishment had always been 100% pro-EU. It sees, it saw, I mean Trump is different, but uh, it saw the potential United States of Europe as being its sister, its twin sister in, you know, ruling the world. And these are all internationalists who believe that uh, with the same ideas uh, it should rule the world. To see our future videos, follow us on Twitter or Facebook and be sure to select See First or the chances are you may not see the videos in your newsfeed. Or to be sure you don't miss anything, subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon. That way you'll get a notification by email as soon as a new video is available. In the meantime, please do help us out and like and share or retweet this post so your friends and followers can see it too.